Hi, I'm Doug Macro. I'm the leader of the Pakiak Pack, and I want to take some time today to show you a virtual demonstration of the Pakiak. So, first thing you're going to get is a bag. It's going to look just like this. It's going to have the Pakiak logo on it. And you want to open up your bag. There's two clips, one on each side of it. You want to release both of those. And then you want to unzip your pack. Two zippers, one from each side. Once that bag's unzipped, you just take it and flip the whole bag off behind the pack yet. You're gonna find yourself a towel on the top. You're gonna to find yourself a seat in the front. You wanna take the seat out, just put it on top of the, the pack you just flipped over. Leave it out of the way till the end. Now you're gonna take the towel off the top and use it, lay it out in front of the pack yak to assemble the pack yak on. Now before you start to assemble your pack yak, you wanna take a moment to look at what's on the top here. There's a set of assembly instructions. You should familiarize yourself with it. I'm gonna walk you through it today, but before you do it yourself, you should notice that there's also a small uh, sticker here that'll tell you how to engage the clamps. You wanna make sure you're familiar with them. So you wanna familiarize yourself with the clamp sticker and then take a look at the clamps. Notice there's a little release catch here that you use your thumb on. It only has to be moved a little bit, but that will automatically lock the clamp closed when you latch it. And if you don't unlatch it, you won't be able to take it apart again. So you want to be a little familiar with that and have a look at it before you even begin. So the first thing you're going to do then is you're going to take the top section, you're going to slide it right off the stack. You're going to set that right down. What we're going to do is build this kayak in two towers. The second piece you take off, you just keep following piece after piece. Your next piece comes right off the stack, sets on the first piece you started with. What you do then, you want to remove the hatch cover. Don't worry, it's tethered to the safety line, so it'll stay attached and just hang there. Just let that hang. You can look right in, you'll be able to see the four clamps that you just saw. And you wanna just attach them one at a time. You wanna make sure that that lock goes right onto the pin, and then latch it closed. Do that for every one. Right onto the pin, latch it closed. Right onto the pin, latch it closed. Right onto the pin, latch it closed. So you're gonna take the next section, section number five. You're gonna place that right on top of section four. You're gonna do the same thing. Remember the hatch is tethered so it can't fall. You take the hatch cover and open it up, let it hang. It's the exact same situation. You've got four clamps in here. You wanna make sure that you engage that clamp right on that pin there. Make sure it's on there well and then latch it. You wanna do that for all four clamps at this section. You're gonna grab the stern section of the kayak. You're gonna know it's got the Bluefin 14 logo on one side. On the other side, it's gonna have your hull identification number. You might wanna take a moment, become familiar that there are three clamps in here. You wanna look inside them. You wanna familiarize yourself with the locations before you start because it can be difficult to see it once you put it in place. So notice where the clamps are. Know that you're gonna be grabbing those clamps and pulling them down and latching them. Take a minute to be aware of where they are. Then you just set your piece up right on top of your stack so it fits on there nice. Reach right up, feel for that clamp, and bring it down. And you're gonna engage that just the way you did the other four. Each one of these three are gonna get connected exactly the same as the four you just did. Take one minute. You wanna take one minute, feel, make sure you didn't forget one of those three. If you did, you're gonna be letting water in the boat that you don't want. Once that's done, you take your hatch cover, and you can make sure it's nice and tightly sealed onto the boat so you'll be ready to paddle when we assemble. Finally, you're gonna to get to the last piece. It's the last piece and you're gonna notice it has this little black protector on it. 
That's so it doesn't get scratched up when number six stands on top of it. You wanna pull the Velcro strap, take that off. You wanna make sure you attach that or put it in your bag so you don't lose it. Again, number one section works just the same way as the number six section. There are three clamps in the same location. You wanna be aware of those so that you know where they are. Because it's gonna be difficult to see them once you put this in place. You can look up, notice the same thing here, location of the catches. So you set that part right on top of number two. You reach up and just like every other clamp, Make sure it's engaged on it. Make sure you feel it on the pin. You latch that, go to the next one. Make sure you feel it on that pin. Latch that. Make sure that all three are latched. You can feel each one is in there and tight. Same as section five, you can take the hatch cover now. It's a good time to put it on, make sure it's sealed. One of the things you want to make sure is that all the way around this, lint, this rim, this hatch cover is sealed on. If you just snap it on the two, two front and back points here, this isn't sealed. That's going to let water in the boat when a wave comes over. So you want to make sure you take the time to push that and seal that right on there good. All the way around. So now we have the two towers, the half of the boat. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect these two. So you just want to take the bow or front section tower. I like to grab it right by the hatch lip here and just lay this down on your towel so the cockpit mate surface is on the protected area so you're not getting sand in your mate surface. You want to take this cockpit pad that may be hanging out, just flip that over out of the way. So you can take this section, grab this T-handle, grab the back of the cockpit, and you just need to lay it down. Set it right up next to that other one, close as you can get it. You just want to take the two parts, grab the cockpit section, slide them together until the, the tongue and groove interlocks down at the bottom. Once that's together, you want to start with the bottom clamp. So once you've got the tongue and groove started together, you're gonna to start with the bottom most clamp, the one right at the bottom in the middle. When you engage the clamp, you wanna make sure it's completely rotated over, as far as it can be against that black band. Then you wanna just bring that down and slip it over that pin in the catch. Now if it's not quite close enough, you just wanna squeeze the boat together a little with your hand here and you want to latch that first clamp. Once that's together, you should find it, fully rotate the clamp over, engage it to the pin, push it down, make sure it's on the pin, and then latch it. We work from the middle out on both sides. Then you want to reach up and do the side piece. Now you're gonna notice on this time, the ground's kind of falling away from me here. It's not as flat as it could be. And so the top's open. Now that can make it a little difficult to put this top clamp, these two top clamps together. But what you have to help you out is the seat. Now what you can do if you have that problem and you wanna bring that together, you can just reach over, pick up your tail section, make sure they come together slip your seat under as a little prop. That'll help take care of the problem and take the stress off. Now you can go over here and make sure that these little pins right here go in their hole. If they're crooked, it's gonna keep you from getting the boat together, but you wanna make sure they go right in that little hole there. So once you have that, you've got a clamp. Just look down here and you can see it. Again, make sure it's engaged on the pin. Clamp it, do the same for this side, make sure it's tight. Clamp that last part. We'll make sure all five clamps are latched and tight. 
All right, so we're nearly done, but there's one more step if you want to take your bag with you. Might be nice to be able to take it with you. So what we did, we designed our bag to fit inside the kayak. It comes with a strap. You find that hanging on one of the handles. What you want to do is bundle your whole pack right up, nice and neat and together. Okay, I'll bring it up here so you can see it. We tuck that all together, we tuck everything in. Then it's got two flaps, so the bottom will bend up. That's what you want it to look like and it'll fit in the kayak. What you do, take the strap that comes with it, wrap that right around it, Clip it together, just cinch it up. Just like that. Now that little pack, as long as you put it wheels down and foot down, will stay dry in your kayak, even if it gets a little moisture in there when you're paddling. And if you just set that right in, wheels one side, legs on the other, into the cockpit, pick your backrest up, slide it right back in there, push it in nice and tight, put your backrest down, you won't even know it's there. So the last thing we have to do before you go kayaking, put your seat in it. So we're gonna grab that out from underneath the back of the kayak that we put it, put it under, sure it's dusted off clean. On the seat are two clips. You're gonna take the seat, set it right down inside the cockpit and you're gonna see two female receptors. You slide it right underneath them, tuck that seat down, clip both of the straps, Pull them tight. And all you gotta do is take your cockpit pad, flip that right back over the clamps and the seat. Take these two ears, they fit right underneath this rim of the cockpit. Here and here. That little notch is gonna be for the seam, so it keeps it located. Pat it down, and you are ready to go kayaking. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. There's a lot of good information on our website, packyak.com. Take a look at that. There's also, if you have any questions at all, in, email us at info at and we'll be happy to answer all your questions. Have a great day. Happy paddling.